What's going on my dudes, One Step here with a quick video going over, honestly kind of a weird topic here, but the real problem with guest characters in Mortal Kombat. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's get right into it. So guest characters have been a thing in Mortal Kombat for over a decade now. We had them in MK9, MKX, MK11, and of course we're getting them in MK1 with Omni-Man, Peacemaker, Homelander. But they've been a thing for so long now that I don't know why they're still like an issue within the community. But we'll get into that in just a second. I did a quick poll the other day where I was like, yo, which guest character would you like to see most make an appearance in Mortal Kombat 1? And my options I gave were probably the most, you know, fan wanted or like people talk about him online like crazy and that was doom guy i know he's leaked whatever Geralt from the witcher shredder from tmnt and then kratos from god of war the new god of war i know we had kratos before in mk9 that was old kratos well like <laughs> that was young kratos so now this would be like the old kratos so these were the options that i gave and as you can see the the, the poll on screen here uh, God of War Kratos and then Doom Guy from Doom kind of they almost tied 34% so 32% and so that means like Doom Guy barely won Geralt only got 8% kind of crazy but Shredder got some awesome feedback I would love to see Shredder I know Doom Guy was leaked so Doom Guy would be awesome and this poll got 36 thousand votes which i do think you know speaks volumes here it's like not just a hundred people this is like tens of thousands of people are voting on this and this isn't even the craziest part i put up another poll when they showed off the omni man for mortal kombat 1 gameplay and all i said was are you excited for omni man in mortal kombat 1 that's all i said yes or no and it got fifty-two thousand votes which again speaks high volumes here and 87 percent said yes and 30 percent said no so a couple things speak to me from this result here uh but first things first is if you said no you you are definitely part of the minority and you can just see that the numbers speak for themselves right here only 6,760 people said no whereas 45,240 people said yes to Omni-Man so again first if you said no you're the minority most people would agree that they're excited to see Omni-Man in Mortal Kombat 1 and I think this can be said for probably every single guest character that has arrived in any Mortal Kombat game secondly the real problem with guest characters in Mortal Kombat is there just really isn't one the only argument I ever see in all these comments because these, these these polls get hundreds of comments The only real rebuttal people have when it comes to guest characters is like well I would love to see Mortal Kombat characters instead and I see your point. I do understand. I do understand. But at the same time, it's come on. It's really cool to see Omni Man tear off heads, punch through spines. That's just cool, man. Let's be honest. We always want to see more Mortal Kombat characters, obviously. But when we get the chance to have not a Mortal Kombat character in Mortal Kombat for the fatalities, the brutality, just the fun gameplay, it's cool. Like I don't think that's arguable. It is really cool. I don't even like Leatherface. I'm not a big Leatherface guy, but just see him in Mortal Kombat X that was really cool so first things first it's really cool come on now I know like that but a lot of games have done guest characters before Soul Calibur has done tons of guest characters Link Darth Vader Ezio hell even Tekken does guest characters they had Akuma from Street Fighter appear and they had Negan from The Walking Dead appear so yeah Mortal Kombat first of all isn't the only one that does guest characters but when guest characters do appear it's just really cool to see like oh this is not the norm this is not like a this is not a Mortal Kombat character this is a really brutal anti-hero Omni-Man appearing in a Mortal Kombat game. That's really cool. I mean, to keep going on that point, you don't think it was really cool to see Spawn in Mortal Kombat 11? Yeah, that was freaking sick, dude. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've never seen a Rambo movie. I've never seen a Robocop movie, but it was still really awesome to see them appear in a Mortal Kombat game to see their, their moveset, their specials, their fatalities, their brutalities, their friendships. That was really cool to see in just a video game in general. I know this video might seem all over the place with all the points I'm making, but a Another one is Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers is the ultimate guest character game. They had Kazuya, they had Ken and Ryu, they had freaking Steve from Minecraft appear in a fighting game. You get my point, people love it. And when they love it, they'll spend money on it. You don't think that if it wasn't profitable, they would still be doing it? Of course it is. They're making so much money on putting guest characters in their game. That's like, why would we ever stop? Let's give the fans what they want. They want Spawn in a Mortal Kombat game? Let's give them Spawn. 
I, I know so many people that like weren't into Mortal Kombat, but they love, you know, Alien. They love Predator. And they're like, you know, I wasn't a big Mortal Kombat guy, but they put Alien and Predator in Mortal Kombat X. So I had to go buy the game and play those those characters that I love in this fighting game. And turns out I love the game now. So first of all, you're making more sales. That's more money. And then second of all, you're bringing in more of an audience. You're bringing in new players and more players. Hell yeah. Plenty of people weren't fans of Mortal Kombat, but probably loved Terminator, Rambo, Robocop. So they, of course, they bought the game to play those characters in this fighting game called Mortal Kombat 11 and then turns out they're new fans they, they now they love Mortal Kombat because these guest characters brought them into the franchise so one it's very profitable I don't think they're ever gonna stop and two it's just really cool man come on it, it, it really is it is just so cool to see Darth Vader appear in Soul Calibur how cool is that it is so cool to see Negan from The Walking Dead suddenly appear in a fighting game like what it is so cool to have crossovers like that crossovers are like the epitome of entertainment like it is the ultimate powerhouse to like bring these franchises together and that's just it just sells man it just sells and let me go back i do agree i would love to see more mortal kombat characters but i hate the argument of like well i hate that omni man is taking a slot because i would love to see freaking movado or kai instead like what no you really you would really you would rather see some like karate kid appear versus freaking omni man that can destroy planets like hello and if you really do if your answer to that question is yes i would okay i can't really, i can't change your mind and we'll friendly disagree and that's totally okay i'm just saying the majority of people do find it really awesome to see guest characters appear in a fighting game let alone a fighting game like mortal kombat where it's known for the for the brutality it's known for those fatalities at the end of the game it's known for the the blood the gore the brutalness of the game it's known for that obviously and not only that but i do think mortal kombat has kind of become that game that does guest characters like Tekken 7 did it, sure. Soul Calibur has always done it, yes. But I think Mortal Kombat as a franchise has like kind of been known. They they kind of built this name. They have built this foundation to show, yeah, we do guest characters since the beginning of MK9. They did like they did Freddy, they did Kratos. Then they did a horror theme with all the horror characters in MKX. Then the 80s action theme with MK11. Now we're going off kind of anti-hero esque in MK1. The point is they do guest characters. Like we all know they do. So if I said, hey, have you ever seen Alien in a fighting game? You'd say, oh yeah, I saw him in MK. KX, duh. Hey, have you ever seen Terminator in a fighting game? Oh yeah, I think he was in a Mortal Kombat game. The key words there are Mortal Kombat. They're appearing in Mortal Kombat game. It's profitable. If they weren't making money on it, they wouldn't keep doing it. They would stop it, but it makes them a lot of money. It brings in new players, which first of all, as a fighting game lover and a fighting game player, you want more people in your community, do you not? So guest characters bring in new players. I think that's super cool. And I always love to see the fan base grow like that. I love it. And I hope that you would too. So the whole question of this video is what is the real problem with guest characters honestly there really isn't you might argue that and say yes there is i would i want to see more mortal Kombat. you're not a real mortal Kombat fan unless you want more mortal Kombat characters am i are you sure really are you sure like i just said i think mortal Kombat's kind of known for bringing in guest characters so if you're mad or don't consider me a true fan because i would prefer to see omni man compared to freaking meat or Dramen from back in mk armageddon or whatever i do who cares man we're all fans in our own way let me enjoy my characters you can enjoy in your fantasy of wanting meat or drama in a Mortal Kombat game. That's fine. We, we can all enjoy our own things our own way and want to play our game, want to play the game the way that we want to play it. And that's the beauty of gaming. That's the beauty of fighting games. Am I wrong? I don't know. I, I mean, I, I kind of see your point. Like, I get it. But dude, come on. It's really cool, right? Let me know your thoughts on guest characters in games and fighting games in general. Keep it civil down there. Subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time.